Hey guys, this is CJ from B2BElectricSupercharger.com and I have what, uh, what you call a turbine shaft here. This is the turbine shaft from a TP38 uh, Garrett Turbo. And the reason why I have this is because we're going to talk about shaft power. Um, I get a lot of guys that contact me and they you know, give me their opinion about electric superchargers. And a lot of guys, they tell me, oh, it takes, you know, an ungodly amount of, of electrical power to um, compress air and to flow air into an engine. Well, a lot of people, I, what I see what they do is they'll take, for example, 20 horsepower. The 20 horsepower it takes to make 6 PSI of boost on a V8, on a small V8, right? So then they'll convert that 20 horsepower into electrical power and then they'll say oh you can't do that well now that's why I'm, that's why I'm going to talk about shaft power okay first let me say this as long as you have enough power shaft power for the amount of boost you want to run at a given RPM range for the size of the engine you can make boost if your design is correct Okay, so now let's talk about shaft power. Okay, what is shaft power? Shaft power is basically just the power on a shaft. How do you measure shaft power? Shaft power is a measurement of both torque, the twisting force that is placed on the shaft when the uh, hot exhaust gas is hit it, and RPM. Okay. The RPM that is created when the hot gases hit the uh, impeller, the, the impeller wheel. So we have torque times RPM divided by five two five two. That's how you get your shaft your shaft power. Uh, shaft power is measured in kilowatts. Okay, so guys, it does not take a lot of shaft power to make. Four to five psi of boost on a small engine. Boost on an engine is directly related to a couple of things. It's related to engine size. It's related to how much boost you know you want to run. You know you need x amount of power. It's related at how much boost you know you want at a target RPM range. So as long as you have an electric motor. Okay, that is strong enough, twisting force, that's our torque, and can put out a certain RPM. So it has RPM and torque. Wow, RPM and torque. That's the same thing that this impeller has, or that this turbine has when hot exhaust gases are hitting it. RPM and torque. So there's no law in physics that says this has to be driven by hot exhaust gases. There's no law in physics that says an electric motor won't create boost. Now, you got to understand, we also have to keep a balance. Electric superchargers are for modest boost applications. Modest boost applications for engines that were not designed with turbos. That's what an electric supercharger is for. So if you want over 6 PSI, you want, you know, 10 or 12 PSI, then the electric supercharger is not for you. But we have to keep a balance for those cars that cannot be boosted or don't have, you know, a kit. You know, some of these cars weren't designed to, you know, have, you know, an electric supercharger or any type of supercharger. So you have to keep the boost, the boost at a modest level, but at the same time, you know, let's give a you know let's let, let's get a 35 to 40 percent increase in power, and that's what we do with the B2B electric supercharger. So, can we get that modest boost with a brushless motor? Yes, we can, because we have what torque, right, and RPM. So hopefully that cleared it up. A lot of guys, you know, you know. They don't take the time to study. They just see something that they read and they just start comparing, you know, power and this and that. 
Well, guys, also let me tell you about this. Brushless motors, switch reluctant motors, uh, brushless AC motors, brushless DC motors. Every motor is different. Every motor has different torque output, different RPM. Every motor has a different design. Every motor has different efficiencies. So one motor is going to use more wattage and volts. One motor might use less wattage, volts, and amps. So it all boils down to shaft power. If you have two motors, one big motor, one smaller motor, they both have the same RPM, but the bigger motor has more torque, right? So that smaller motor is going to drop off RPM once it's loaded, you know, when you put it on the car and it, the engine, I mean, the, the electric motor is loaded, but the bigger motor, the bigger brushless motor with the bigger uh, stator, rotor, and, um, and magnets, it's going to have a higher torque output. So when you put it on a car, it's going to maintain a higher impeller speed and, and draw less amps. So there's a lot to it. Now, you guys might say, well, you know, that doesn't mean nothing. Well, it's like this. Everything I do, I research. That's why the BTV Electric Supercharger ebook is 100 pages long. It's not 100 pages of the same thing. There's like, there's like eight or nine chapters in that ebook, okay, that cover various things. Do the research. Research, research, research. That's all I can say. Can we make six horsepower uh, from 1.8 kilowatts? Yes, we can. Or, you know, can we make six PSI from, you know, 1.8 kilowatts? Yes, we can because uh, other people have done it. Garrett has done it. Turbo Pack has done it. Other companies have made these electric superchargers and posted the specs. So can we get 1.8 kilowatts off of, uh, out of a motor? You know, 1.8 kilowatts of power? Yes, we can. And that's why, you know, the B2B electric supercharger books were written. And that's why we're working on the design. And we're going to um, do the dyno test on the design. So hopefully that cleared it up. Man, that's a lot of talking. So now we know what shaft power is. It's not always about horsepower, you know. Because horsepower in an electric motor has to be converted, you know. And there's, there's just so many variables you know, that I can write a book about that, you know, we're trying to keep this video short. So, if you guys got any questions, hit me up. I'm on YouTube. I'm on eBay. Uh, go to the website. Uh, contact me. If you want the, the B2B manual on, uh, on a disc, you can find it at eBay. All right, guys. Well, I have to go. Appreciate it. And now you know.